kingship that is wrong or headship that is not Christ, and you will not have the power of the symbolism you carry about. Amen. All right. Let's go to the next point. They 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 sent for the ark. Now read read on. I'm not I'm not reading it. I'm I'm giving you the picture, and you can read it. Go on down uh, past the eighth uh, uh, verse, uh, and the Philistines heard the shout of Israel. Though they lost four thousand men, they lost the battle, but yet they shouted when the ark came back in their camp, yes. and they sent for it to open eyes to the answer. And they brought the Ark of the Covenant back, but little did Israel know it would not save them, the artifact, the memorial, the furniture, and the furniture of religion will not save you. The cross around the neck will not, the beads you wear to count them if you're that faith, uh, all the ten rules of the church, all the twenty, you can know all of the code, you can know everything about uh, a God, you can study the history of God and the Old Testament, Israel and religion, and you can study ten religions, and yet believe I believe in a true God, and of all the furniture and artifacts and the symbolism we can right here, we can in this place, we can have all the furniture arranged that looks like God, must be God, and we say it is God, but if God is not in it, it's dead wood, it's a dead symbolism, it has no power in it. Amen, 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 God is not membership. God is relationship. Amen, Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus. It is not membership that takes drugs out of a person's body. It is not membership or counting the beads or chanting the chant or looking at the symbolism. It does not deliver you from sin. It is the relationship that you have with a living Lord that you speak to and confess your sins and say, forgive me, I'm a sinner. Save me by grace and let the blood of his redemption wash you. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible said in Israel, in the 12th chapter of Exodus, the Bible said the angel said to Israel, Anoint your house with the blood. Take a lamb, pin him up four days. After four days, uh, take him and slay him and eat him uh, in haste and with your shoes on. And, and uh, uh, let him be a burnt offering and all those things that told them to do. And take the blood of that lamb and put it over the doorpost. And put it over the lintel in your house. Because when the angel of death comes through the land, he said, when I see the blood. I want him to see the blood here this afternoon. I said I want him to see the blood here. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. Not the furniture of the house. Not what your name is. Not if you belong to the tribe of Levi or the tribe of Benjamin or the tribe of Issachar. But when I see the blood, Hallelujah. when I see the blood, Amen, yes. brother. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm there. Listen, I am about to have a personal revival to myself. Praise God. Amen. If the church will not have a revival, I'm going to have one anyway. Amen. If, if you won't have a camp meeting, I'm going to start one. Praise our God. If you are lagging behind and you've gotten in lethargy and you've got something that's slugging you down, getting you in the rear of the of pack, and you've lost your desire and zeal and enthusiasm, I'm going to do my best to set up. In fact, right now, let me throw some. Go ahead, Amen. Go ahead, Amen. 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 Let me, let me throw some dynamite out there. My God, let me throw some dynamite out there. Hallelujah. Praise our God. Amen. Why did we leave the 
church ought to be more alive now than it's ever been. You say, Brother Marvel, I can't. I can't. Something's got me. Well, let Jesus get that something that's got you. Get it out of you. Get it away from you. And get another experience. Another relationship. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. And Israel had the furniture, but they didn't have the God. Israel, in this fourth chapter, First Samuel, and read it on down. It's on the screen as I'm ministering. They had the shout, but they didn't have the God. Hallelujah. They had the furniture, but they didn't have the God. But they scared the daylights out of the Philistines. The Philistines didn't really want to fight them again. They really didn't know they destroyed 4,000 men. They just won the battle, but the Philistines were afraid of that shout. Hallelujah. They, they, they heard that shout, and they said, Oh, we've heard of this God that destroyed the Egyptians for these people. We've heard of this God. We know about him. We know about the plagues. We know what he can do. And they were afraid until one of their brave leaders stepped up and said, stop it. The word quit you is in there. Quit you like men. Stop it. Stop being nursery children. You Philistines, be soldiers. Be soldiers. I was in the United States Army over in Germany when a lieutenant walked up to a private and the private was standing there shaking, I don't want to go, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. And he, he put his weapon down. You don't do that in the army. And drop that weapon. You don't drop your weapon. They make you eat your weapon if you drop your weapon. <laughs> you have been soldiers. You know what happens if you drop your weapon. And this, this private dropped his weapon. And this lieutenant said, Soldier, pick that up and start chewing that. That belongs to you. That's your weapon. Get some courage in you. You wear the United States uniform. Don't do that again. You coward, you're not going to be a coward in my platoon. You're not. And he'd give that fellow a lesson, and that young guy got some courage from somewhere. His legs start to stop trembling, and he got his weapon back, and uh, he, they put him on punishment for what he'd done, but he still got the lesson to become one of the better soldiers. In fact, he was, he was a, a, a corporal when, when, I, when I left over there. Uh, he was cured of that fear. The problem is God's church needs to be cured of their fear right now. Yes, amen. The, the church is remembering too much about a lost battle, and they need to realize if you lost a battle, you can win the next one. Yes. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, you know what the enemy puts in your mind? You know what Satan says to you? The first thing is, you lost that last fight. You prayed that uh, uh, illness would leave your body, and it didn't. You, uh, uh, you, you God didn't, God didn't uh, keep your loved one. Uh, God didn't let you get the job you wanted. God didn't let you get the house you wanted. And the first thing you know, the carnal mind, the serpent's nature, is working. And the endemic nature is working until you become a creature of fear yes. rather than a creature of faith. Yes. Amen, brother. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because you remember that God didn't answer that the way that you thought he would. Am I talking to somebody here? You know what I'm talking You know in this crowd there are people that have experienced this. I've watched children of God in the church in my years of pastoring. 63 years I've been pastoring churches. 54 years this church right here. I'm starting my 55th year next month, and that is in December. I can tell you about people. I mean, I know all about religions, but I know people. I mean, I know how to put together uh, uh, things, and uh, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not a carpenter. I couldn't build you a house, but I can talk to you about the church. Amen. I can tell you about people. People tend to run. They tend to get afraid because the instant God is not there to make their instant tea or their instant coffee the minute they want the instant tea or the instant coffee. But brother, if he doesn't make you instant coffee, he's got a full cup brewing somewhere. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Can I say that again? Go ahead. If God doesn't make your instant coffee, he's got a full cup brewing somewhere. Don't you get afraid. And don't you shout and then get afraid. Because let me tell you something.
something. There's a Philistine. There's a carnal nature. There's an enemy. And it's wanting to destroy you and take away your faith and take away your knowledge. And he's going to get you in a lock hole because you're going to say, I've been waiting, but God didn't. I've been waiting, but God just wasn't there. I wondered where he was. Uh, so you turn to a substitute, and you start taking a substitute, and the substitute plays out after a while. But don't give up on God. If the Philistines had not just shouted, but if they followed that with, here's what I want to give you. Here's what I'm coming in the back door with. If the Philistines would have followed that shout with courage. Yes, sir with faith, right. with conviction, uh -huh. and said, we have not lost the battle uh -huh. two times in a row All to right. Philistines. We're not going to lose it today. Praise we're going out there, and we're going to handle those Philistines. Yes. Those Philistines were afraid. Yes, sir. They were already afraid. Yes, sir. But when they saw the Israelites backing up, not coming on, yes. though they had the covenant, though they had the ark, they began to look at them and say, we've got them, boys. They're the same cowards they were when they took 4,000. You know what they said? We'll do more than that this time. You know what I mean? They killed the next fight. Read your Bible. Read that chapter. They slayed 30,000 Israelites. Hallelujah. They, uh, they slayed 30,000 Israelites because the Israelites became afraid. I watched churches that were on the... Let me, let me prophesy here. I feel like prophesying. This church is on the verge of greatness in God. If we do the right thing, if we follow the cloud, if we look at the pillar of fire, and we follow it like Israel did, this assembly right here with its outlying branches is on the verge of the latter rain falling. Yes, do I hear a shout? Yes, Praise the name of the Lord. This assembly on Little Quiet Seventh Avenue, Podoc Center, USA. Praise the name of the Lord. Right down here on the east side can turn in to the greatest revival center seen in this southwest part of Florida. Because God suddenly starts inspiring people to dance, to sing, to preach, to prophesy, to lay hands on the sick. Hallelujah. And the glory of the Lord come in and fill the house and do what you can't do in a moment of time. Sunday night, stand up, Brother Bush, stand up a minute, stand up, stand on your feet, Brother Bush, stand up a minute, look at him, everybody, one week ago, he had cancer in the mouth, he came in here Sunday night, and by faith, I rammed a white handkerchief in his mouth, he thought he was gagging, and I pulled it out the last minute, where he could catch his breath, but when that act of faith was over, Donald Bush went to the doctor, Pastor Donald Bush, Pastor the 11th Commandment Church in Palmetto for many years. He went to the doctor Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday, maybe, maybe Monday, whatever day it was, it's all right. He came to the office. I couldn't get out of my office. He said, Brother Milo, I want to say, I was trying to go to get in my car, go somewhere. He said, no, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to tell you right now, Come on. I had cancer. Come on. I went to the doctor. Come on. The doctor yes, Don't 
don't be fearful. Don't be fearful of anything, of anybody, because just because the Philistines got the victory before, they don't have it now. Praise our God. If Israel would have shouted and then sanctified the covenant from the pollution of Hophani and Phineas and rid themselves of the house of Eli, they could have marched into that camp yes, of the Philistines, and it would have been 30,000 Philistine slaves instead of 30,000 Israelites. It's your decision. Come on, come on. It's your decision. Hey, lay, brother. We've got Brother Wallace. Never missed the meeting since they diagnosed him with cancer. Sister Wallace is here. Yeah, I'm glad to see you, Dan. Able to be in service. He's suffering much. In their back, but I believe God's going to deliver you. I believe it. I believe God's going to deliver you. Yes, Amen. Can I believe God's going to deliver you? Yes, Hallelujah. You were you were so active in the church for years and years and years. You have a degree. You have a college degree. Yes. God is going to let you stay in a house and the rest of your life with a back you can't hardly get around. It wouldn't surprise me at any moment if you'll exercise your faith and do not believe that because you've lost the battles, you're going to be a yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, I feel anointing up here running over. Do you feel some of it back there? Do you feel anointing somewhere in the crowd? Praise the name of the Lord. For the Lord they said he has cancer all over his body. He's been with me 50 years. This man was with me when he was a young man. Just a young man. He's been with me that long here. He's one of my elders here. They said he has cancer all over his body. He hasn't missed a meeting. No. He's been here taking chemotherapy. I believe Lee is shouting the shout. And Lee is running toward the Philistine. And the Philistine is not going to win the last night. No way. Praise the name of the Lord. If you won't give in, give over and give to the enemy of your soul that deals with your mind, your emotions, your principles, your pursuits, your life, God will deliver you. God will deliver you. God will not let the Philistines slay you. Praise the name of the Lord. Sister Mickey, here, stand up for a minute, Mickey. The doctor told her, I've done all I can do for you. She's a diabetic victim. Her body has gone down, down, down. She works in our office here, church office. She volunteers. She, she's really good at what she does. Amen. And she she really fills that position well. And, and, and I appreciate Mickey. She worked for the homeless program, yeah. has made the soup for the program here for months now, uh, for the homeless feeding on Friday. And the doctor said, I, I, I've done all I can do for you. Mickey, that's the last fight. But the next fight is up ahead. Yes, amen. And you're going to win that. Yes, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You must go ahead and play me. You go ahead and eat right. You go ahead and sleep right. You go ahead and be healthy. And God can win the last battle. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Bring it ready for the latter rain. Bring it ready for the outpour. the enemy slaughter 30,000 simply because we don't sanctify the Ark of the Covenant and we don't shout the shout. Don't remember your last battle if it was a defeat. Remember God is greater than that last defeat. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, uh, we have a, uh, I want to thank you and we're going to do this the very last because I, I, I didn't want to interrupt that message. Uh, last night, I asked the church a uh, 100 people to give $100. We don't take pledges in this church. Haven't for 54 years I've pastored this church. I haven't from eight people we started with 54 years ago. A smaller building over here. None of this property around us. Uh, the two blocks the church owns here. Of these houses where 58 people live here on these grounds. And they have a home here. Um, we didn't have any of that, but by faith, God has given what we have. We have no mega church, we have no mega temple, but we have what we have. 
and uh, our offering table, we do it a simple way, and it's very different than some. Perhaps others do it. That's fine. Uh, the Holy Spirit said, put that offering table out. Sometime during the service, let the people go back there and fellowship, say hello to one another. God bless your sister and brother, and give their offering. Don't take it. Don't take it. You don't take an offering from God's people. They give an offering. They give it willingly. They give Amen, it freely. They give it voluntarily. You don't take pledges and say, you know, like an auction head, who give 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10